In this remote Scotland town lies the untold story of President Trump's mother. Mary Ann McLeod grew up poor in the fishing village of Tongue in the Scottish Highlands. So right now we're on a fishing boat here in Scotland that is similar to the one that Donald Trump's family would have used back in the 20s and 30s. It would have been his grandfather uh, here operating the fishing boat. Mary Ann lived in this gray pebble dash house with her parents and nine, yes, nine siblings. All these years later, the home remains in the family. That's one of Trump's cousins heading inside. This was not an easy place to make a living. Local historian Ian Stevens says when Mary Ann was growing up, times were tough. You have displaced communities. Remember, this is the aftermath of the First World War, between the wars, uneasy political times, depression. So here we have somebody trying to, well, really with very little choice, right. but to try to make a new life. In 1930, when she was only 17 years old, Marianne McLeod packed her bags and left her tiny, humble hometown to move all the way to New York City, where she planned to work as a maid. She left home with only $50 in her pocket and no plans to return. She arrived by ship on Ellis Island. These immigration papers described her as having fair hair, a fair complexion, blue eyes, and standing five feet, eight inches tall. Nina Burley is the author of Golden Handcuffs, the secret history of Trump's women. She goes to work as a maid in the closest thing to an American castle that existed then, the Carnegie household. Andrew Carnegie was a Scot and there was a connection. Mary Ann lived in this building in Astoria, Queens, when she met an up and coming real estate developer, Fred Trump, at a party. They quickly married in 1936. The Trumps had five children, including Donald. The mother and son relationship reportedly wasn't always warm and fuzzy. He tends to avoid speaking about his mom's modest upbringing. Up from the bootstraps isn't really his thing, right? It's the Trump name is is synonymous with class it's classy um it's royal it's guilt it's gold i donald john trump do solemnly swear after his inauguration trump prominently displayed a photo of his dad in the oval office no sign of his mom eventually he added one of her he paid tribute to her last mother's day my mother was a great person so much of what i've done and so much of what i've become is because of my mother. President Trump visited his mother's ancestral home here in Scotland only one time. It was back in 2008 when he was looking for a place to open a golf course. He posed for photos right about here before taking a look around inside, but he only spent about 90 seconds inside the house before continuing on his business trip. He spoke with the local press, nice sitting alongside his older sister. It's nice to be here. My mother never lost her feeling for Scotland. She loved Scotland more than anything. Quite the remarkable journey, from humble beginnings in Scotland to raising the President of the United States of America. Thank you.